Good morning you beautiful people So this is smile number 22 of 500 You can see the smiles running up there And so Ims and I have discussed our plan on how to be able to get 500 swells 500 African smiles Swells to harvest water to stop the flooding in this area Or to reduce it greatly And then to get the, the place ready that if in the future the municipality allows us um, to stop doing illegal stuff and to use it as community gardens, community training projects for permaculture, um, then we have that ready. Our plan is to add one person every day and uh, until our money runs out or IMS's ability to manage them runs out. So when they become too many for IMS to manage per day, then we'll reduce the number. But for now, we'll add one person every day and uh, see how much faster we can get these 500 smiles done. Some of them are a bit too close to one another, as you can see. Um, but each one is a great learning opportunity and each one will definitely have a giant benefit in the future. Each one of these smiles, I guess, could sink in about a um, thousand liters or more every time it rains maybe up to 2000 liters so with the 500 smiles done we might be able to reduce a million liters of water every time it rains from the river or from the that thing that floods right over there so i think this is a, a noble cause and i think we're making good progress um, it's already to such an extent that I have to drive in deeper. These are our first ones. This is this is where we started and now we're already quite quite far up. I guess that's about 70 meters away from here and there's about another 30 meters that way. So we're already about 100 meters into the project. And so definitely, definitely stay tuned. To see what's how, how we're gonna do this. Ims is also gonna work on Manette's garden. Hopefully tomorrow I have to bring him some compost he wants to supercharge Manette's garden. Help her get her things ready. All of that is due to people helping us with coffees for this project. Really want to say thank you. I hope you're gonna enjoy seeing how all of this unfolds around you. We've got a DOG here. Yeah? And the chicks can't wait to get out. Let's do that quickly. Good morning, chickies. <laughs> How cool is that? Wow. This one is not happy. It's been not happy since yesterday. It's the second one with a swollen leg. I mean, it looks a little bit better today, but still not happy. Yeah, the other one we ended up giving to the pigs, and the little leg was all swollen up. It was about a week ago. Um, you can see how far they are already. Some of them are the pigs. Some of them are. Going straight for the compost heap. I'm glad to see this. they're skipping the alfalfa. I'm very scared that they're going to kill the alfalfa. Somebody said that in a comment many months ago, or right in the beginning, that these birds are going to turn this place into a desert. Uh, not a desert, a desert. Um, so we have to make a plan. I'm not sure whether I should move the cage to a different part of the farm to save the alfalfa or whether. Yeah, I don't know what to do. In the second milking of Brenda. The calf has been away the whole night. Benji, where's your shoes? Um, this one is a bit more organized this time. I think. Doing a bit, bit of a better, better job. Let's see how much we get out. Flies are a problem. I'm going to go to war today with the flies. Flies are a giant problem. If we don't use poison, 
and we're not sure yet how to exactly how, how we're gonna manage them and the, with the rain they're becoming more and more so we have a thing to f get them off our face we'll spray that but we'll uh, we'll have to make a plan to kill the flies definitely okay so the first step in my war on flies is an electrical thing but you can also charge by solar so I put, I've got a little solar panel um, to see if that will work to charge it but it works with a, with a cell phone charger so it should bought a solar cell phone charger to see if it works the idea is then that you put some smelly things below there's some mice that the dogs killed yesterday and uh, then you put the electrical thing that's actually meant for mosquitoes on top and then you get a certain amount of flies that goes through there and then you can see there's some lying down there dead already a couple of flaws in the design the flies can go in here and go mingle there below which they shouldn't do um, so to improve the design you would want a square box where they actually have to go through the trap to get to the smelly part they have to go through the electrical grid to get to the smelly part that's so that's our first step in fighting the flies I wanted to see if this works this could be added all over the farm organic no poison no danger to a chicken or anything no, nothing no danger to a child child can't get his finger in there um, so that's that's quite something um, that's one way to do it this is our second plan so those yellow tops that you buy um, as soon as they perish I'm going to buy a couple tomorrow I'm gonna make a hole proper hole in in this um, so this was an accident Dono made the hole of some hot wire and then I wanted to cut it bigger and so that was actually me um, but you have to cut it so it fits perfectly which it doesn't yet and then that gets added on top of some smelly things and then the flies goes in there now this is actually quite grand um, it's relatively cheap fish um, low tech you don't need electricity uh, you can buy three or four of these for the price of that electrical grid um, no, say three if you buy the buckets with, with it for the price of that electrical grid and then once the fly goes in there you can't go out again and then if you want to feed it to the chickens you flood it um, most of the nutrients get, doesn't get burned away so that might be our way to do it and then you flood it and then you feed that to the chickens so that might be low tech you see there's one frying there I don't know if, that, don't know if you saw the smoke coming up um, that might be the way to do it, better way. If you have any fly solutions, um, I tried to make some sticky fly things over the weekend and uh, I only managed to make my wife very unhappy about her sticky kitchen. So that wasn't the way to do it. Um, got myself in a real sticky situation, but the flies, I couldn't get it into such a way that the flies would sit on it. I think. I need to add more syrup uh, that I cooked sugar I made a syrup with that but it says that you need to add more corn syrup as well to get like a sticky type thing going that's one way to do it but that is constant new cost new cost um, I don't know if you can see all the dead flies already down there there's some living ones but there's plenty of dead flies and this has been out for about a half an hour so this isn't the, the worst idea ever we had 20 chicks, 10 chicks, sorry, running this pen here today to scratch for flies. Um, I went to explore some ideas of move, movable pens to see if I can move the cattle and the sheep in front and then move the uh, chickens behind them two or three days later. I've been Pondering moving pens now for a very very long time. I think it's a real game changer once you get that sorted out We've tried with the electrical thing because our land is so uneven and there's bushes and things We've got a different grass than many people. It's a pop up uh, uh, You call it like a How do you call it? Like a it's got a like a bunch of grasses together growing it doesn't grow flat on the on the land that makes it a, the electrical thing a bit more difficult. Um, we've struggled, we've really struggled with electrical. 
with the electrical way of doing it. So I'll probably have to do physical guides, look at different ways of doing it. Uh, send basically some pictures, there's some scaffolding, second hand scaffolding that I can maybe buy and then put some fencing in there to try and do that that way. I think that quite, could be quite cool. I've also considered the maggot bucket. Now the maggot bucket is quite a cool idea. You make holes in here and then you fill it with dead and decaying things. And the flies come and they make little maggots. And then once that happens, the maggots wants to find a dry place to lie and they crawl out. And once they crawl out, the chickens can get them. So they turn a mouse and a dead snake and some pig poop and all of all they turn that into um, nice chicken food uh, you know clean maggots of quite a nice clean chicken food where the snake and pig poop and so on isn't necessarily nice and quite clean they, they turn it into quite a high protein source but where do you hang it where the maggots are actually eat it, eaten immediately basically only place I can think is the chicken coop. So you have the smelly bucket hanging in the chicken coop. And um, I'm not sure if that's something that we want to do at the stables, really. I'm not sure how we do that. The other alternative is to do that at the pigsty. But then you, you have to have chickens below the bucket all the time. So that when the maggot falls out, they're ready to, to chomp it up. So that's going to be the end of my story. Remember to leave a comment. We really love those. Best thing you can do is watch another video. That really helps for the algorithm. That's the end of my story. See you tomorrow.